State officials say that they are committed to making vaccine distribution equitable in Minnesota. Right now, white people are disproportionately receiving their vaccinations, but there are efforts underway to target specific communities that need it. WCCO's Caroline Cummings explains where the state's outreach stands right now. A place for worship temporarily transformed into a vaccine clinic. It's overwhelmingly positive. It's part of an effort across 18 different mosques in the state to vaccinate the Muslim community so they can congregate safely together and pray during Ramadan. This is Johnson and Johnson. Imam Asad Zaman, executive director of the Muslim American Society of Minnesota, helps secure 7,600 doses of the single shot Johnson and Johnson vaccine from MDH to speed up that process. He says. As the move makes immunizations more equitable and will also combat vaccine hesitancy. Right now you have 2,300 people who have had shots in their arms and they're out there talking to their friends and their relatives. So that more than any sermon that carries a lot more weight. It's this kind of outreach, MDH says, is the key to vaccinating underserved communities. Clear um, guidance from trusted leaders is exactly the kind of thing that we're going to need to do a lot more of. Starting next week, the state and federal government are hosting a mass vaccination clinic here at the state fairgrounds for people in targeted zip codes that the CDC says are more vulnerable to COVID-19 based on race, ethnicity, socioeconomic status, housing, and transportation access. We have better data on where the differences in rates are. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. The clinics at the mosque are serving anyone in the community, not just Muslims. All appointments, though, are booked through next week.